Hey guys, YouTube World 100 here. Okay, and now here I am with a, another uh, TV Halloween special review. And now here I am with a review for Boo to You to Winnie the Pooh. So, now before I actually do start this review, I may like sound kind of stiffly right now. Yeah, I think I might be like coming down with a uh, cold right now or something. And yeah, you may have, I might have like sounded kind of stiffly last night when I did my Terminator 2 review, but yeah, today it's like really uh, coming up to my nose, and my nose is like really stuffed up today, so yeah, if I do sound like kind of stiffly in this video, that's the reason why, just because like I think I'm coming out with a cold and my nose is like really stuffed up today, yeah, but yeah, anyway, getting into uh, this review, um, yeah, as I have told you guys, like, a lot of times before, I really have always loved Winnie the Pooh. I mean, yeah, of course, like, I watch a lot of Winnie the Pooh as a kid, and yeah, even today, I really do still enjoy Winnie the Pooh. It really doesn't matter, like, how old I get. I mean, I still do enjoy Winnie the Pooh a lot, and... Uh, yeah, I thought that this was a pretty good uh, Winnie the Pooh Halloween special. Yeah, I remember I did, like, watch the special, like, quite a lot as a kid. Uh, yeah, I actually did, like, have the video for this. I did have, like, a few different t and uh, Winnie the Pooh Halloween-related uh, videos as growing up. I did have, like, um, the uh, Franken-Pooh video, as well as, like, Spookable Pooh and this one. But yeah, this one is really like more like a uh, an actual Halloween special. Yeah, with like uh, the Franken Poo and Spookable Poo videos, those are really just uh, compiled of various episodes of, from the New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh series that really did kind of have like a spooky type of a uh, tone to them. But they weren't like any like actual like specials. But this one actually was. This was like an actual um Halloween Winnie the Pooh special. <coughs> yeah, but I did think that this was pretty good. I mean, I watched it a lot as a kid, and I really did enjoy it as a kid, and even now, I, I do still enjoy it. I mean, I do really like it. I mean, yeah, it does, like, have a quite, quite it does get, like, kind of, like, spooky at times in this uh, special, so, yeah, for a Winnie the Pooh, uh, spe well, like, anything Winnie the Pooh like this to actually be kind of spooky. I mean, I know it has had some spooky stuff before, like the Heffalumps and Woozles song from the new adventures of the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh, excuse me. Yeah, and it has had, like, some sort of other creepy type of um, moments before, like with the Skullosaurus stuff and Pooh's Great Adventure and some stuff like that. But yeah, there's been, this has really gotten some pretty spooky imagery in it as well. So yeah, I remember I. I was, like, kind of, like, creeped out watching this when I was younger because it did have, like, some spooky, uh, type of stuff in it. But, like, some, the music could get, like, kind of, like, uh, spooky at times. And, yeah, some of the imagery can get kind of spooky as well. So, yeah, I guess, like, it does its job of, like, being a Halloween special. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, but this is a, a pretty good, uh, special. Yeah. The premise of this special, what it is, basically, is that it's really, like, set around, like, Piglet. Because... Yeah, with Piglet being so timid, like, when it, every time Halloween comes around, Piglet has never actually, like, gone trick-or-treating with Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and everybody, because he's just been, like, really afraid of the, uh, frightening atmosphere that Halloween has. And so that throughout the special, what it is is just, a uh, Pooh really tries to get, like, Tigger, Eeyore, and the others to really, like, kind of, like, help Piglet, kind of, like, not get so frightened of Halloween. Yeah, and there's just a lot like, several different things that they try to do to really kind of, like, just help Piglet overcome his Halloween fears, but none really do seem to really work. Piglet just continues to really be scared, and especially, like, with Tigger really, like, being so into Halloween, it really just really does frighten Piglet even more. Yeah, but then, and yeah, when they then decide to really, like, not really make it Halloween, like, so scary for Piglet, then that's when kind of, like, like, they are really, like, wanting to really turn things around, but then, after, like, a uh, Piglet ends up just getting, uh, uh, really frightened by all his surroundings, houndings, and it leads to, like, Piglet just, like, going out, like, into the woods, and then, like, a Pooh Piglet, uh, a Pooh Tigger and Eeyore are trying to look for him, and then just, yeah, they get, like, just scared of everything, because there's a storm going on at the same time, and then, when it looks like, the Piglet, like, mistaken Pooh like being, like, trying to, well, Spookables trying to uh, kidnap Pooh, then, uh, Piglet then, like, tries to come to, um, Pooh's aid, but then, yeah, um, then, then, like, what, like, ends up happening at the end, then, like, Piglet is kind of, like, deemed a hero, and 
he's now overcome his fears, and then that's been like a piglet, really, is now like over his Halloween fears, so, yeah, so, and that's really like kind of what this uh, uh special is really like about, yeah, and it, it, this is like a pretty good special, like I said, I did watch it a lot as a kid, and I even like do still like to put it on occasionally now, so yeah, so with this special, you basically do have like just about everybody that was the voice cast from um, <coughs> the new Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, like, reprising their roles in this, but you do have a Jim Cummings voicing both Pooh and Tigger. Yeah, I guess this was after, like, Paul Winchell had retired from the role, so, yeah, this uh, Jim uh, Cummings also voiced um, Tigger in uh, this special. You do have a John Fiedler voicing Piglet. There's Peter Cullen as Eeyore, Ken Sampson as Rabbit, and Michael Goff as Gopher. Yeah, so pretty much everyone reprises their roles from the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh in this special. Yeah, and you also do have uh, John Rhys Davies. He's as the narrator for the special, and he does as good as the narrator. Yeah, he really does like kind of like helps to give it like kind of like a spooky type of feel because yeah, just his voice as he's like saying some like some of his lines in the narration, it really does sound kind of spooky. Okay, especially like in the opening narration, as he's just kind of like explaining what Halloween is, is and stuff. And then also like with the music playing, it really does like fit like the type of tone that he has in his voice during his narration. So <clears throat> yeah, I think John Reese Davies is pretty good as the narrator in this. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, like I said, it does have like some kind of like creepy imagery in this. Like there's a moment in this uh, special where uh, Piglet is just like out by himself at night in the woods, and then it's just, like, the narrator just explaining, <laughs> hating that Halloween has come, and it just shows, like, a bunch of, like, creepy imagery, like, you just see, like, some, some eyes, like, in a dark spot in, like, a tree or something, and then you see shadows of, like, crows, and you see bats flying around, so, yeah, and there's also, of course, like, Tigger's song in this a special, I Want to Scare Myself, which is, like, really, really creepy, I mean, it basically is kind of like a Halloween version of the Heffalumps and Woozles, uh, scene from, uh, the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, like I said before. <coughs> So, yeah, and yeah, it does have, like, some funny uh, moments throughout uh, this uh, special as well. Like, throughout the special, there's, like, this thing going on where, like, Gopher is trying to get a good costume for uh, Halloween. And throughout the special, he's, like, dr trying to dress up as, as like, Pooh and the others. Like, he dresses up as Eeyore, Rabbit, Pooh, and Piglet in this special. And, like, every time, like, like the other characters see him, they just, like, say he's something else. Like, particularly, like, when he, uh, Gopher's dressing up as... as a certain person, whoever that person is that he's, like, or, like, character is that he's dressing up as, they just, like, kind of, like, say he looks like something different, like, in the opening, like, in the beginning, like, oh, Gopher's, uh, dressed as Eeyore, and Eeyore just said that he makes a good yak, yeah, and there, there's when, um, Gopher dresses up as a rabbit, and rabbit just says that Gopher's dressed like a muskrat, <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of funny that, like, they can't even realized that a gopher is dressing up as them. So, yeah, that's, like, kind of funny, yeah. <coughs> yeah, and, yeah, there are some, like, other moments like that throughout uh, the special as well. So, um, yeah, so overall, I do think that this is a pretty good special. I mean, if you do like Winnie the Pooh, I think that you could get enjoyment out of this. So if you haven't seen this before, I would recommend checking it out. It is a pretty good a Pooh Halloween special. Okay, so, yeah, all right, so let me just talk a little bit about the premise of the special. So, like I said, as the special opens up, it just has, like, the narrator talking about Halloween. Like, what year as October breezes, and then the winds bluster, there's a particular night where the dark grows more so, and it's a night called Halloween. Yeah. And then it shows how uh, Pooh is, like, dressed up as a bee, practically, for Halloween. And it shows that, uh, like, everybody is gathered together to go trick-or-treating that night. It shows that there's a... Tigger and Eeyore, and then uh, Gopher also comes around, but they notice Piglet isn't there, and then it shows how uh, Piglet really, like, wants to not be scared for Halloween, and he just, like, is trying to convince himself that he is going to enjoy Halloween this year, and he's even, like, tried to help overcome his fear here by, like, building, like, an imposing mannequin out of, like, a bunch of, of, like, different types of, like, stuff that he has in his house, House that and he is like trying to tell himself that if he's not scared of that, then there's nothing he'll be scared of. But then, as it starts to teeter, he just says that he hopes. And then there's like just this song that uh, Piglet sings, just 
talking about how he has to he's trying to show himself that he's not afraid even though like he's not braver <laughs> there's nothing really scary about him or anything yeah but then yeah then uh Pooh, tigger and eeyore then stop at piglet's house and then it, yeah, Tigger then, like, wants to go out and try to practice some uh, tricks for Halloween, and then, as he does that, like, Pooh, like, because of his costume dressed as a bee, he tries to get honey from a beehive, and a bee, like, ends up, you know, thinking that he really is a bee, so the bee leads Pooh to the hive, but then, as uh, Pooh was, like, climbing the tree trying to get to the hive, his costume ended up falling off, and the bees didn't realize he wasn't really one, and then, yeah, the bees <laughs> ended up just, like, coming right at Pooh and the others, and then it just, like, led into chaos with, like, them rolling all around, and then the old rabbit, like, was, like, uh, preparing some pumpkins in a of his own, yeah, but then, yeah, then they all, like, just ended up, like, crashing through Rabbit's garden and just messing up his pumpkins, and then when, uh, Tigger saw the pumpkins, he just made them into jack lairs and drew faces on them, and that ended up, uh, scaring a piglet, too. <coughs> yeah, and then later on, on then, uh, as there was a storm approaching the Hundred Acre Wood, like, a Tigger was then... Like overzealously speaking of the horrors of Halloween, like heffalumps and woozles and spookables and jagulars and stuff, and then that just ended up frightening Piglet, and he just ended up running off, and he eventually ended up running back home, but then he was just barricading, like, all of his windows and his door and stuff. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. And then when, uh, Pooh, Tigger, and Eeyore then, like, stopped off at Piglet's house to see how he, he was, then... He, they just knew that Piglet just was too afraid to be a part of Halloween, as usual, because, yeah, as I said, Piglet has never actually gone trick-or-treating with them before, and they were just, yeah, they even, like, went over it, like, they were just saying that if Halloween is, with, if Piglet is part of Halloween, it would be, like, last year and the year before and the year before that and every other Halloween ever, yeah. And then Pooh then decided that had they would then just throw a less frightening big Halloween party for Piglet that they referred to as Hallow wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. And then it, it just had like a poo Tigger and Eeyore that like just has, with costumes that really weren't very uh, fright weren't frightening. It was just like sheets that were over them. I guess kinda like ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then as they were like walking to Piglets, Piglet then like just saw the costumes and they frightened in him, and then he just ended up fleeing through his wall that he bald, that he uh, barricaded. <laughs> yeah, and then when uh, Tigger, Pooh, and Eeyore that like came to Piglet's house, they then saw that Piglet was missing, and so they they went out into the forest to search for Piglet. And then as Rabbit was guarding his, his uh, pumpkins, then he ended up like falling asleep, and as a Piglet tried to like see if Rabbit that was at home, then like Rabbit. While he was sleeping, he accidentally kicked a wagon to Piglet, and the uh, it ended up touching Piglet and scaring him. And then, yeah, it just like you could hear like Rabbit snore throughout the forest. And then, yeah, yeah, everybody ended up getting scared. And she'll then go for then like ended up like appearing, and he was dressed up as Piglet. But yeah, he just saw like a Pooh, a Tigger, and Eeyore all in their costumes, just running around everywhere. And that ended up scaring a gopher. He was running around too. And then at one point, then um, Pooh, uh, his costume ended up uh, getting um, hang, uh, stuck in a branch. And then uh, as a uh, Eeyore and a uh, Tigger were trying to uh, pull him down, Piglet then saw it and just thought that uh. Uh, the Spookables were actually trying to attack Pooh, and so then Piglet then was determined to save Pooh. So then Piglet then had used, like, the mannequin that he built to try to save Pooh, and so then Piglet was just controlling the mannequin walking towards uh, Pooh, Tigger, and Eeyore, and like, the mannequin ended up scaring Tigger, and then, yeah, the mannequin then just ended up, like, falling over, and then, yeah, he just, like, had everybody, like, rolling downhill once again and then they were approaching rabbit's garden once again and then they crashed into a uh, rabbit's garden and then and yeah and then just like just showed how piglet was just hanging from a part of his mannequin and the mannequin that just ended up collapsing and then ev everyone then just just believed that piglet then just scared the spookable away and then they were commending Piglet for his bravery. And then, yeah, the gopher then just emerged up with a jack-o'-lantern on his uh, head. But he was also, like, covered with, like, a 
sheet and some weed from Rabbit's Garden and sold him that. Everybody was impressed with the costume that Gopher now had. Yeah, and so <coughs> then, yeah, then they were just saying that this is the best Halloween or how it wasn't that they had ever had. Had, and Piglet made it a true Hallow was, yeah. And then at the end, and then just showed like all of them, then just going out trick or treating all together. Though, yeah, where they actually did go trick or treating is kind of beyond me. I mean, where did they go in the Hundred Acre Wood for trick or treating? So, I mean, did they go to Christopher Robin's house <laughs> somewhere else? Yeah, that's something that kind of just left me wondering, like where they actually did go trick or treating too. But yeah, regardless, yeah. And then it ended just with the narrator, then just explaining how. How Piglet was quite alright, that Halloween, and that was quite alright several nights after, and so will we all be, as long as we know there's a forest and a bear named Winnie the Pooh. And then, yeah, that's how it ended. So, <coughs> so yeah, it's a pretty good um, Winnie the Pooh Halloween special. I mean, like I said, I did watch it a lot as a kid, and I even do still like to watch it during Halloween time now. I mean, it is a really, really good special. I mean, it does have, like, some spooky uh, moments in it. It really does, like, have quite a spooky feel to it. And it does have, like, funny moments throughout it as well. So, yeah, it really does just have what makes Winnie the Pooh really so enjoyable. And they really do good with the Halloween tone to really make it a good Pooh Halloween special. So, like I said, if you haven't seen it before, I would recommend it. I think it is worth a watch. So, yeah. All right, so I guess that's all I can really say about it. So, yeah, so this is it for my review of Boo to You 2, Winnie the Pooh. So I hope you guys did enjoy this review, and stay tuned tomorrow for Halloween. For, like I said, I will be reviewing It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, to finish off these uh, Halloween spe TV special reviews. So, yeah, stay tuned tomorrow for my review of It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown on Halloween. So, yeah, but before I get to that, of course, I do have, like, my next Terminator review who come in next, and so that will be, I will probably, um, upload that, like, later on tonight, so stay tuned for that before I actually do review It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown tomorrow, right, but I hope you guys enjoyed this review, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.